Greetings, I am Brother Charlie. And I'm Aaliyah. This is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here today just to bless you with a quick testimony of health, restoration, financial breakthrough, obedience, whatever you can get out of it. Well, we're gonna start from the beginning. January 24th. 25th. January 25th, uh, a stroke attacked me. I was hospitalized for about 30 plus days. Uh, in the midst of that, God still did some wonderful things, even up into the point of where now I'm walking. Um, no memory loss, no speech impairment, just still believing God for full recovery. But there are some details in between that. Um, so uh, Charlie did mention that he was here at church when he actually had the, the stroke and thank God that we were around a body of believers, um, men and women of God who were praying for him, who um, immediately acted quickly. In fact, Pastor Momo um, recognized it and was like, call 911. And so um, by the grace of God, we were able to, they were able to get him to the uh, hospital um, in well enough time to be able to do any types of tests that needed to do and they identified the stroke. Um, and thank God for all the body of believers, everybody here at Overcomers Christian Fellowship who were literally family, right hand people. I mean, just everybody just showed us all kind of love and support from yes. helping us with our children to blessing us um, financially, making sure that we, we had everything that we needed. And most importantly, just all the prayers that went up from the morning prayer calls to people who came out to the hospital yes. who just came and just really show my husband, myself, and our entire family the support during this time. Um, it was phenomenal. We truly, truly know that we are amongst a body of believers who are really, really Christ-centered and Christ-focused and just love people. And they really showed us that love throughout this time. So, while I was recovering from a stroke, my wife bought a house. Uh, <laughs> 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 Before I had the stroke, uh, we were in agreement to purchase a home. We started the process. I had the stroke, but during the recovery, things started to fall in place. Um, there were one or two things that just did not fall into place, and it was the financial aspect where the loan officer wanted to see a certain amount in our bank account. We had everything except $8,000 at that time. Yeah, I think they asked for, like, we needed to show that we had $5,000. Um, How you tell them for how much money we had in the account? But I'm just saying. No, that's why I like worded it that way. Okay, I'm sorry. Dang, I'm telling people our business. <laughs> <laughs> we needed $1,000 um, at the time. So we found out two things. We needed $1,000. They needed to see the money in the account which would have put everything at about a little over, right at $5,000, which would have been needed for closing. So here we are, I've come out of the hospital from a stroke, Aaliyah has been going back and forth, she's not working, she's seeing about me. Um, then y'all came up with this whole thing, this coronavirus, all of that, in the midst of that, we're still trying to buy a house. Um, Aaliyah's getting frustrated with the paperwork, I can't help, I only got one side working. Um, I remember Charlie was still in the hospital during this time when she was asking us about proving the income and coming to church. Um, again, he was still in the hospital and Pastor had prophesied in the middle of service that whatever somebody is, is trying to close on a house, but whatever obstacle that is in your way right now, we remove it in the name right. of Jesus. And he prophesied that we would close in our house within the next 90 days. So fast forward, um, we needed $1,000. However, during that time also, first fruit was upon us. We were all asked, you know, to kind of make a vow, and we wanted to give the thousand dollars. We had filled out the form, prayed, um, ready to give, ready to go. So, standing at the door of, do we give first fruit, or do we take a thousand dollars and make the bank account what it needs to be to buy the house? We decided, bump it. We're going to give the thousand uh, dollars to first fruit because the most incredible thing happened. We didn't have it. A couple from our life group came over, just blessed us. Yes. Even before that, um, I don't know if they want us to mention the name, but if you get with me at the church, I'll tell you. <laughs> Maybe they got another thousand to give, I don't know. Um, 
But they did everything from follow us to the house to make sure I can get up the stairs, a lot of things. So they gave us $1,000, we turned around, gave it the first fruit, time to close on the house. They sent us the paperwork that neither one of us could read. Uh, we ended up calling the loan officer and she told us, boom, you don't have to put anything towards bring, your closing. We didn't have to bring anything to anything the closing to the table. Closing. Our closing amount was zero, zero, zero. <laughs> and we both just thank God and rejoice. Yes. And because he's a miracle worker, during all of this, uh, on top of the house, my husband was able to come through rehab, fully recovered, thank God. Um, just even the way that he worked it out, even down from his nurses to his doctors to even down to insurance paperwork, like God worked everything out according to his will. And on top of that, we were able to be in our home and close on our house before all of this um, shutdown and uh, COVID-19 situation. So I just, we just thank God Amen. for his blessings, for his um, prep uh, making a way for us, preparing a table before us, just going ahead of us and opening doors and making way. And thank God for OCF. So what's your takeaway from all of this? <laughs> My takeaway is to be obedient to the word of God, um, to, to be a giver, to be generous, and to show generosity to others the same way that people have shown to us. Amen. But well, she said, we love you.